MCU is getting more and more desperate as time goes on. So, they're desperate to sell the Marvels. A movie that absolutely no one wants to see. Okay. And, now I, I haven't had to deal with Brie Watson's fanboys anymore. Why? Because even they don't care about this movie. Okay. Even they don't care to defend this movie. That's the funny thing. The Marvel's trailer is desperate. I didn't read the trailer, but apparently they're bringing back... <laughs> they're spoiling the biggest thing of the movie to get people to go see it. They did the same thing with The Flash. They spoiled basically the whole thing. Oh, Michael Keaton's Batman's returning. You know, spoiled the, you know, saying, hey, oh, oh, oh boy, but we, we want to save our dying movie. So, hey, Michael Keaton's Batman's coming back. Uh, You have the stories of Michael Keaton's Batman, right, right, right? Okay. And basically what they're doing here is they're flashing back to the final battle with Thanos. So my idea, yes. Oh, but remember Endgame? Remember that big epic finale to the MCU? Oh, 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 if you like this movie, y you have to see the Marvels, okay? You have to see the Marvels, and I don't think it's working. Even like the Forbes is dissing the final trailer, okay? It's kind of like a... Michael Keaton, Batman, it's just awkward and it's a big. The thing that made the Spider-Man, you know, so special, the Spider-Man movie, was that we didn't, it was a surprise, okay? It was a surprise, okay? They did not spoil the whole thing with the Spider-Man's return. But basically, they're trying to spoil its own plot points and cameos to try to sell more tickets. And like with the Flash, it's gonna fail, okay? Because no one cares, okay? The difference between this and Spider-Man, okay, is that Spider-Man, okay, was a very, you know, those characters are beloved, especially, you know, you know, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, and people seeing that character on the big screen, the big surprise, okay, you know, that's why they didn't spoil the other Spider-Mans being in the movie, okay, it creates suspense and hype for the movie. Okay, that's why that movie did so well. It creates suspense and hype for the movie. Okay. And of course, once the movie came out, you know, once the movie was leaked and everything, of course, everybody knew. But, you know, but the, they don't know what to do with the MCU now. It's a, you know, it's a dead corpse at this point. And the, they're trying to do everything they can to sell this movie. And is there any scores for this? Of course, at the fair, Google score. Why are, you, why are you all to review the movie before it comes out? That is so freaking weird. So fucking weird. Why, why, can't, why can't you review the movie before it comes out? But there is no one that's interested in this movie. Okay. First of all, you already killed the MCU with the Disney Plus shows that absolutely nobody cares about. Even like Loki Season 2. Absolutely nobody gives a shit about, about Loki Season 2. Okay, the MCU formula has one dry, and in the reviews, people are sick and tired of the Marvel movies, okay? That's basically what the critics are even saying. We are sick and tired of these, you know, complete garbage, okay? We're sick and tired of these movies, okay? We want something new, we want something different. Even the critics are, like, destroying this movie, okay? Even the critics, like, they're destroying this movie, Okay, and most of the time, I like, like, really, the critics don't like this movie. But for once, I think it's because the critics are sick and tired of Marvel. They're sick and tired of the same bullshit over and over and over again. The same formula. People, they want something different. They want something new. The reason why, like, for example, Spider-Verse is so well-reviewed, because it's, so, it's something different. You know, it's an animated movie. It's, you know, they're trying something new. Okay. Yes, the movie could have been better for its PG-14 because it could, have, it could have been like an actual Marvel movie, but it's animated. But the reason why Spider-Verse is so well-reviewed compared to the Marvels is because it's a different mo it's a different style of movie. Same thing with the Batman, okay? The Batman was a great movie that came out uh, last year. The Batman was a great movie. It was, uh, it was honestly, in my opinion, one of the best Batman movies ever made. Okay, I'm power movies like The Dark Knight. Okay, it is one of the best Batman universe movies ever made. Okay, and they did a very good job at making that movie. Okay, but the Marvels, they're using the same goddamn formula over and over again. People are sick of this. People are done with this same bullshit over and over again. I remember watched the video, it was like 
Someone was complaining about Miss Marvel about how they're sick and tired of Marvel, the Marvel's bullshit. Well, now I think even the critics are sick and tired of Marvel's bullshit. Okay, okay, no one wants to watch all these Disney Plus shows. No one has time to watch all these Disney Plus shows. Okay, you know. The MCU is now becoming this convoluted mess of the multiverse and stuff, and people don't care. Okay, it's convoluted. It's you know what made the old Marvel movies good is that they were simple. Hey, these movies feed into these movies, and it builds up to this big movie. Okay, that's what made the original MCU so great. Not Phase Four, Phase Five bullshit. Well, it's multiverse bullshit. You know, okay. This is why most people don't read comics. Okay, because comics is basically this is all what comics are: multiverse bullshit or uh, stuff like this. And people talk about you talk about Spider Verse, but again, Spider Verse. The reason why that movie worked is because it wasn't complicated. Hey, there's alternate timelines of other Spider Mans. Hey, uh, you know, you know. There's, there's a canon timeline that all spider Man's must follow. It's simple. Okay. With the MCU, it's a bunch of fucking bullshit. You're throwing all this stuff at people's faces. Hey, you have to watch all these Disney Plus shows too. You have to subscribe to our streaming service, watch all these Disney Plus shows, so you can understand the Marvel canon. When Spider-Verse, it's just two movies. Okay. All you have to do is watch the two movies. You may have to watch it like more than once if you really want to understand it. But hey, they made this multiverse in the Spider-Verse movies easy to understand okay but the marvel movies you have to watch uh you have to watch this movie you have to watch this tv show you have to watch Loki to understand the marvels you have to watch miss marvel too you have to okay people are getting sick of this bullshit okay the difference between the mcu movies is that a lot of these mcu movies could stand alone without having to watch all these other shows okay and all these other movies they could stand on their own okay Guardians of the Galaxy could stand on its own. Save it of its sequel. Okay? And save it of the third movie. Yes, they should be watched in order, if you, you know, but they stand on their own. Okay? All of these other Marvel movies, they don't. Okay? Love and Thunder, Wakanda Forever. Okay? Ant Man to Watch Quantumania. Okay? The Marvels. Okay? And that's why we're seeing midween box office for these movies. Save it of the Flash as well. And Shazam. Which is basically the scraps of an old attempted cinematic universe that was failed, okay? As well, okay? And that is it about the Marvel. So, yeah, you know, it says they, they, I think Google says you're a woman based off your sorts of behavior, yeah. Maybe, you know, tearing this movie apart. Yeah, I love a movie that I tore apart like five times, but. <laughs> It's so funny, even the critics are sick of the same old, same old, okay? I think the critics are just begging, please, give us something new, okay? And that's it about this video here, goodbye.